Hey there, welcome back to Startup Screen Printing. My name is Jesse. Today I'm gonna to give you guys a little bit of a deeper tour into my registration template and kind of explain how I use it in case you're not sure what these are used for and how this can help you line up your films on your screen. So I thought I'd give a little bit of an overview. Now, if you haven't already seen um, through any of my social media or anything like that, I've put this available as a free download on my website. So you get the actual AI file or there's an EPS file or a PDF file. They're all three available in the single download. Um, and so it's available for free on there. If you'd like to have this template and you can print it out on your own film, you can order it onto something like this and have it printed and, and shipped to you. Um, you know, you can go to FedEx office or any place like that and, and have them print it onto something like this. Um, or if you would like me to print to order this for you, I'm happy to do that just from a trade printer that I use. So I will sell this foam core hard version of it. Now, a lot of shops will use, and a lot of the, these templates that are available are transparencies. And they are available so that you can lay them on your exposure unit. And it's typically most handy for those who have um, an exposure unit that's really large. Um, also, a lot of times you'll, you, they'll use an, uh, an additional light box and place that film on the light box that has orange you know, UV safe lights and uh, position the films that way. But this works great for me. I mean, this gets everything close enough that it really was game changer for me for lining up multicolor prints. Um, even just maintaining some consistency on where my prints are showing up on the platen, even if it's a single color print, um, because where I have my print heads aligned is pretty consistent on every order now because I'm lining all of my films up in the same place. So let me show how, how I would use this, but let's first do a little bit of a walkthrough. Now, the file that I put online that's available to download is an updated version of this. This is a couple of years old. I haven't ordered a new one because this still works fine for me. Um, but if I were to do it over again, th that's the version that I've put on the website for free. Essentially, the new version has doesn't have the box here outlined. It doesn't have this dark of blue here. Um, it doesn't have um, just the two and four inch. It's got the one, two, three, four, and five inch. And then it's got measurements all the way down here to, you know, I think this is, I think it's got down to like 12 or 13 inch uh, measurements. And so the hope here is just really help you line up no matter where you're trying to line up on the screen. But what I've got here is the screen outline, and this is for the size screens that I use, which is 20 by 24 aluminum frame. And so this matches the frame width and the, the outline of the entire screen. And then I've got my platen size. Now I have two different size platens. I have the larger platen, which are on my press right now. And I've got the smaller platens, which are the ones that I used to have on my previous press that I actually kept whenever I sold that press. I sold it with the original composite platens. But these are the two sizes of aluminum platens that I have. And what you'll notice is my platens are set to the same distance on this portion as far as where their position is on the arm of the press. Um, and so then it just gives me a deeper amount of area to print as it goes down this way. So what I've done is just sort of align this up in the center of my, of my screen. And then when I align my platens on my press, I use a screen. I will line them to where they are this distance away from the top of the screen so that it's consistent there. And then when it comes time to actually place the film onto the screen, when I'm going to expose a, a screen, I'll just put some tape on the corners. And I'm not going to do it on every corner because this is just an example. Um, let's just do it on the well, it's not that big a deal. Let's just do it on all corners. All right. So you'll place this, the tape on the back of the film. So you see this is reversed. So this is the front of the film because this is the image as it should be. So it's tape sticky side facing up now when I take the film straight up and I'm going to line it up with the registration marks that are on this board. And so I'm lining up these top two on the outside edges and I'm lining up this center one, and then I'm lining up this one on this center line down here. Now on the new version that, that is available for download, there are enough marks all the way down and all the way across to where you can actually line up. If you're using similar registration marks, I use six, as you can see, three on top, three on bottom, you can line up all six, and that would be preferred because the more registration marks are in line, the more of them that are in line, the more lined up your print's gonna be. 
So I will essentially line these up and this is not a perfection science here. I mean, this is just, you're trying to get this as close as possible, understanding that it could shift a little when you go to lay the screen down on here. Um, but the key is that you're getting, you're doing 90% of your registration work when you're putting the film on the screen. And then you do the last 10% when you actually get the screen on the press and you get ready to print and you just have to make minor adjustments. So now that I have that where I want it, I then, this is, the screen's already exposed. I've already used this screen. I just need to wash it out, but um, I didn't want to, I don't have any that are coded right now. So I will take this and I'll lay it down to where I can, I feel like it's placed right in line with that outline of the screen and I'll lay it down on this back side first, and then I'll just hold that straight and just let it slowly lay flat onto the template. And then I'll take my hand and I just rub down all four corners just really quick, just to get the tape to stick. And now I have my film lined up with the same distance from the bottom of the screen here to the actual reg top registration mark. And if I do that on, I just did an eight color print um, a week or so ago and I did this with all eight of the films, all eight of the screens, and my time to registration when I got on to press was so small. I mean, I, I, was, I was registered so quickly, and there have been times as I'm learning to do all of this in the years past where I would spend 45 minutes to line up a three-color print. And to be able to line up an eight-color print, in, it probably took me about 10 minutes to do it all is just incredible to me. <laughs> that blew myself away. And it's not because of my abilities. It's because I gained so much consistency on my placement of the film on the screen by using a registration template that it made my registration process on press so much more simplified. So even, like I said, even doing one color prints, this can help you get to a straight alignment, especially if you've just got a single print head to where you're putting all of your films at the same location where you don't really have to move that print head in between orders because these aluminum frames aren't different. They're all the same. So as you put them all down at the same place and then you put eight different frames in the same print head, if they're all front color, one color, you know, front prints or all back prints or something, you're probably not going to have to move anything. You just set it up, line that screen up, you know, horizontally this way on press and you're going to be good to go. So um, I think it can really, really benefit to have this to help you gain some time uh, when it comes to registering your order. Now, another thing that I do have that I've never pointed out actually, and I used this the other day to line up this eight color print, is I took the interior portions of that template and made a, this is kind of that plasticky sign, all weather sign stuff. I made another template and I took, you know, it's the same marks. So I had this printed to go along with this and I essentially take this down and I lay it on my press and I, I line up this top part with the top of my press. Or actually I think this one, I have to go down a little bit cause there's not as much space. So I go down a little bit, but I just line up this top line and the bottom line with my vertical line on my platen here that I have drawn and that line is, is a perfectly straight line in the dead center of this uh, platen. And I just line this up on both sides and then my platen's a little sticky because I've got the adhesive on there, which is preferred. And so now this doesn't move around. This is essentially the same as if you were to take the film and put it on one of the platens and line them all up to that same film, same thing. I just decided to do it as one um, template here and it'd be similar to this other template so that I have some consistency there. But I then just placed this on one platen and then I pulled every screen around and I lined and registered the, each screen to this template. And then I did my test print and I was just almost dead on. And so this has also helped me a ton in getting lined up. Now, if you just got a one location press um, or a one platen press, you don't need this. Um, if you have a two platen, probably still not a big deal. Um, but I've got a, a six platen here, six station. So, um, this really just came in handy to, to make sure that, um, 
you know, they're all lined up or a color. Sorry, the station's really not, not that big a deal. Actually, now I think about it, it's the colors. You got a four color, you do a four color job. This might help. Um, but if you're, uh, you know, I had an eight color and, uh, it was, it was a huge help. So just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview of what, how that works, what that template um, is used for, what a registration template is used for in general. Um, there are other ones out there available um, that, like I said, they're printed on transparencies. Ryanet has one. I'll put a link to the Ryanet one in the description. It's super expensive last time I checked, so I've never really understood why they're that expensive, um, which is why I'm giving you mine. So take it and order it printed on a giant transparency and you have it. There you go. Um, super cheap. So, um, I just don't think they really need to be that expensive and I think it can be a huge benefit for you guys. So, um, give it a try. If you haven't downloaded it yet, again, that link will be in the description to the one on my website that is for free. I just asked for your email address. Um, so it, it, you know, you can go on there and download that and it's available in all three of those formats, AI, EPS, and PDF in case you don't use Illustrator. I use Illustrator. So, um, I had someone comment say, hey, I know this is free and this might be too much to ask, but could you do this in another format for those of us that don't use Illustrator? And it was not too much to ask. I was happy to do it. I think it's a great idea. So I put all of those on there. And then um, again, if you want the hardboard foam core version, either order it using the template that you can download from me or order it from me. I'll have it shipped direct to you from the, uh, from the press. So let me know um, if you have any issues or questions with that. But Hopefully this is helpful, to you, helpful for you guys. I hope you use this template. If you haven't already downloaded it, use it. And um, if you have any tips or things you'd like to see changed about it or, or just suggestions, let me know. I want this to be a useful resource for you as a community, but for also for me. And so if you have any tips that can help me make it better, that can help my work better, be better, I'm all about that. So let me know what you think in the comments. But um, that's it for now. Until the next time. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Hope you guys have a great day.